A true crime podcast decided it would be a great idea to ask its Twitter followers which race they prefer murder victims to be. Yeah. By the way, with one option lacking in the possible answers you can give. So let's take a look. The true crime podcast in question is called Sword and Scale. And here's what they asked. When listening to a true crime podcast, which race do you prefer the murder victims murder victims be? And the options are white, black, and indigenous. Uh, notably, takes care of everything. there's yeah, I know. There's no option for you know. How about none? None of the above. That'd be a good option. <laughs> well, like right? not having a murder victim. Yeah. How about no? I, I I celebrate the notion of no murder victims. Yeah, it'd be a boring podcast though. Now, how about how about this? How about be a boring podcast. How about no that question? <laughs> I would go for that. <laughs> so, sixty-seven point two percent said. That that they want the victim to be white. Like I hate, I hate, I hate all of this. There there are no winners here. Okay, like this is terrible. Um, And by the way, when the story was produced uh, for the show, uh, there had already been forty three thousand five hundred fifty eight votes. I don't know if it's still open for votes, but uh, note again how there's no option for none of the above. So it's a pretty awful poll uh, because no race should win here. And here's the justification that they put out for the poll. I've heard certain popular, many people are saying, I've heard certain popular podcasts are no longer covering stories with white victims. So wondering if this is due to audience preference. Even if we take as a given that that might be happening, which might be, you it's, might have podcasts no. that are focused on a particular community or a particular, like something like that. That wouldn't be the preference, like adding diversity wouldn't be audience preference. It would be an expansion of potential audiences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it didn't take long for people to find the tweet and rightfully criticize Sword and Scale, which they didn't like. There was this like defiant, you know, defensive reaction to it. I don't understand why those with pronouns in their bio, all right, you've already lost. You've already lost the argument. I don't understand why those with pronouns in their bio, by the way, I don't have my pronouns in the bio. And your poll was stupid and incredibly offensive, okay? So uh, nice characterization of people who have common sense and called you out on not having common sense. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll keep reading it. Um, I don't understand why those with pronouns in their bio who do nothing but demand more uh, person of color representation in all forms of entertainment are feigning outrage at this question. Would you prefer if I asked what race you wanted the perpetrator to be? Just how about don't how yeah. about don't do any of that? How about avoid it all? Oh my god, that's a game changer. You mean don't ask any dumb question? Like not one. What about a different <laughs> dumb question? It's just a weird thing to say. I think I don't I don't watch I don't listen to true crime podcasts that much. Maybe that maybe some people do have a preference. Maybe that flavors in a particular way. But it would be like asking, like I like I like to watch action movies. I like movies where there's violence and people get killed. Which gender do you prefer to watch be killed? That's super weird. You can like movies where people die. It's super weird and like fetishizing to be like, now dig into your psychology. Who do you want to see suffer? That's really weird. It's yeah. I just. I hate all of this. Does that do do people have preferences? Is that a thing in the in the true no, crime podcast world? I don't believe him. I just don't believe him. Like I just don't. I, I I think this the justification for putting this poll out there I think was entirely made up and fabricated. Um, but let me let me give you more of the tweets because the defensiveness <laughs> of the tweets uh, just keeps getting worse. I've heard. Uh, let's go to well there it is. Despite the faux outrage. of the record 43,558 respondents voted for more white murder victims. That's over 29,000 accounts voting for white. It's a Twitter poll. It's a Twitter poll. No. No one goes to Twitter to get like real people's thoughts on anything. People go to Twitter to become suicidal, honestly. Like Twitter's the worst place on the planet. Really, you're gonna let me let me do this scientific poll on what what kind of murder victims people would like to see. No, 
No, that, that may have been true at one point, but in the era of Elon Musk, polls are serious business and you must abide by the results of it. And so now, Sword and Scale is ethically obligated to begin killing white people to produce fodder for interesting podcast discussions. And then another tweet, if you're white, I'm not. Then remember, as you go to sleep tonight, that there are at least 29,183 people here that voted for their preference in your demise. And consider themselves morally justified in doing so. It, it, really, do what, they? They consider themselves more. What was was there been, like a second poll that asked for explanation? Anyway, what answer did he want? This is just so stupid. All of it is stupid. It's just dumb. Whoa, wait, wait. So he starts off by implying like all of you say you want more diversity, implying that he doesn't or she doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. And then when the answer still ends up being white, that's a bad. Thing. Would it have been better if it was indigenous? Is that what you're saying? It would be podcaster? better if the poll didn't exist, okay? I was going to curse. Uh but <laughs> let's 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 learn a little more about the fine fellow behind this podcast. In 2019, Mike and Sword and Mike and Sword and Scale were called out online on International Women's Day. Who's Mike? Well, Mike is the guy behind the podcast. Uh Boudet is his last name, okay? Uh, the official Sword and Scale Instagram account posted a photo that read, I don't understand dumb. I'm guessing that's see you next Tuesdays. I would guess that. Right. Maybe I should take one apart to see how it works. Real classy. That's real classy. That's serial killer talk. Like that's that's not just like dark Andrew Tate style stuff. That's no. like I have a collection of skin type stuff. Yeah, maybe uh, eventually there will be a podcast on a different true crime podcast about the Boudette guy that we're talking about here. By the what way, what sort of genitals do you like to see being taken apart by sociopaths? Respond below. He reportedly asked fans for nude photos and has been accused of being overly revealing of victims' personal details. And due to these controversies, the podcast was eventually dropped by its original network and Boudette briefly stepped down as host only to return a few months later. He's hosted the podcast ever since. Yeah, the only thing about there that does bother me totally is I feel like the overly like revealing details, isn't that what people like about true crime podcasts is obsessively delving into every bit of the victim and perpetrator's lives? I don't know. So I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't know this person. I've never listened to their podcast. I'm never gonna listen to their podcast. Just don't post stupid questions. And, and don't post about wanting to take apart female genitals. This is a general life rule. That's not even just for him, that's for everyone. Good advice. A little pro tip. Good advice. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.